Hello everyone, this is your only Lani from Synopsis, and welcome to Cool Things You Can Do with Verdi. Today I want to talk about some of the advanced features in Verification Planner. Um, so let's just get to it. So in the previous video I showed you a dummy plan that I created interactively. This time I have a bigger plan that I created earlier. Um, and I've also loaded, as you can see here, um, some text files with external data for my directed test and some external data from my fault injection tool. But it could be, you know, just any other tool. Um, and I'll show you what to do with that in a second. So here's my plan. Let me expand it um, and zoom in on it. So first of all, I can see that there's a problem here uh, that I created, of course, um, in advance. Just to show you that if you have some problem in your verification plan, like you're missing a source, something that is not uh, matched correctly, you'll get a warning. This, in this particular example, um, I, I put a placeholder for a coverage source, but I haven't yet implemented it. So um, the tool warns me about it. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, I'll just delete it so we can continue. So basically, I've got a you know a basic feature with uh, two sub features. Got some you know a bunch of assertions mapped here. Uh, here's a module for code coverage. Uh, some cover groups down here. Uh, performance is covered by uh, a few more cover groups. And for corner cases, I've actually mapped um, six tests that are covering some of the uh, corner cases in my design. And here is just an example of how I can map, um, you know, external data that I want to track through the plan. Uh, so, and this could be, this is just an example, it could be any kind of data that you can put in a text file. So I'm going to click on the magic button here. Note what happens. Um, here are the scores. So this is something that we've gone over in the previous video. This um, column here actually is a test, directed test uh, status. So every passing test um, is shown as a green bar. There's a you know red bar, and totally I can I, I can see the total number of passing and failing tests. For uh, my fault injection section, and again, this could be just any kind of data that I can put in a text file. It's just an example. So I'm tracking the, over, the uh, total number of faults, um, not activated, not detected, non predicate This is the, uh, you know, um, the certitude lingo uh, here. And basically, I can see that I have 11 faults that I still need to, you know, clarify or debug further. I also have description and owner for each and every feature. And I want to show you what I can do with those. So basically, there is a nice button here that you can click to turn on um, filters. So let's say that you know I want to focus on John's section of the plan. So I can go here, um, sort of in a you know like a spreadsheet kind of thing, uh, and I can select um, you know I can tell the tool show me all the features that are owned by John. And this will show, show me the subsection of the plan that's relevant for me. I can recalculate this particular section. And here the scores are actually different. You know, this is only John's part of the plan. Another uh, useful filter here is this button here, height feature meeting goals. So note, for example, that the reset feature is, you know, 100% covered. If the plan uh, was much bigger, uh, I may want to, you know, just focus on the holes that I have. So this is a nice uh, mode where uh, you get rid of all the, the green zones, all the, you know, fully covered features, which leaves you only with the areas you need to focus on. And finally, uh, what I want to show you here is how to drill down and debug a problem. Let's say here, for example, the slave, uh, there is a cover group here that is not fully covered, right? So it's just simple, as simple as double clicking on the cover group. And it will take me to the good old, uh, you know, coverage debugging um, pane where I can see exactly which cover point um, has a hole and exactly, you know, where's the, the hole in terms of bins. And from here, I can do show tests and everything. That's basically it. Um, in the next videos, I'll show you some of the even more advanced features in Verification Planner. Hope you enjoyed it and hope 
uh, to see you in the next videos, videos of cool things you can do with Verdi.